Next time you are planning a vacation, how about something a little special? Not just the regular spots that everyone visits, but a truly unique and mysterious place. But be warned, there can be dangers to go with the amazing beauty in these places. From the Rainforest Mountain to the Natural Firefall, here's 20 mysterious places you won't believe actually exist. <sighs> Number 20. Mount Roraima. A series of plateaus lie more than 9,000 feet above sea level and stand up 1,310 feet above the surrounding ground like tabletops deep into Venezuela's jungles. They appear to be floating islands in the sky from above. These are the Tepes, a Pemin Indian name for mountains. With Mount Roraima being the most notable, thousands of plant species occur nowhere else on the Earth other than on the Tepes because of its distinct topography. For ages, explorers and writers have been attracted by the magical mountains, most famously Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who recounted a climb of Mount Roraima. In his 1912 novel, The Lost World, a party of explorers discovered dinosaurs and other prehistoric species still alive and well on the isolated plateaus in Doyle's story. Some people now feel that this is still a possibility. Scientists believe the last living dinosaur could be hiding here. None of us who followed Imthern to Roraima have found primordial creatures or their fossil remains here. German explorer, Uwe George said in 1989, while ascending Mount Roraima for the National Geographic Society. But the terrain is so difficult that only a fraction of the Tapui's 44 square miles has been explored so far. Since the publication, more of Mount Roraima has been explored, but no indications of dinosaurs have been discovered yet. But many still believe there could be ancient giant lizards lurking up there somewhere. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Yosemite's Natural Firefall Yosemite National Park is famed for its massive, ancient sequoia trees and spectacular rock formations like El Capitan and Half Dome, which are located in California's Sierra Nevada Highlands. From mid to late February, Horsetail Fall, a seasonal waterfall that pours down the eastern edge of El Capitan every winter, is the main attraction of the pristine river. Over the course of two weeks, the 1,500-foot-tall waterfall transforms into a spectacular natural firefall. For a natural occurrence to occur, a number of factors must be in place. To begin with, there must be enough snow and mild temperatures for it to melt and create a short cascade. During dry or extremely cold years, horsetail fall is reduced to a trickle or may not occur at all, because even a slight haze might detract from the picture of flames cascading down the cliffs. The skies must be completely clear and cloudless. To light up the top part of the falls, the sun must strike it at a precise angle, giving it the distinct deep orange glow of a lava flow. Even if all of the conditions are met, the stunning show, which takes place 5 to 15 minutes before sunset, lasts only a few minutes. Number 18. Waitomo Glowworm Caves the Waitomo Caves, located in the Waikato province of New Zealand, are the most well-known and accessible glowworm caves in the country. Because of its stunning surroundings, it's one of New Zealand's most romantic spots, and there are a variety of Waitomo Caves trips available, whether you want to walk, scramble, or boat down the tunnel. Explore Ruakuri Cave on New Zealand's longest guided cave walk, or take a boat tour of the grotto with Discover Waitomo, where you'll be surrounded 
surrounded by hundreds of tiny glowing creatures. The term glowworm or glow worm refers to a variety of insect larvae and adult larviform females that glow due to bioluminescence. Bioluminescent beetles are found in four different families. These are bioluminescent species, wingless larviform females, and larvae are sometimes referred to as glowworms. Bioluminescence may or may not be present in winged mammals. Their light can be seen as flashes or as a steady glow, and it is commonly green, yellow, or orange in color. Number 17. Hamukale Hamukale, or the Cotton Castle, is a natural feature in Turkey's Denizli province. The carbonate mineral left by the passage of hot spring water is well known in the area. It's in Turkey's inner Aegean area, in the Menderes Valley, and has a warm climate for the most of the year. For thousands of years, travelers have been drawn to the area by the hot springs. Hotels were erected over the antiquities of Hierapolis, as it was once known as late as the mid-20th century inflicting significant damage. Motorcycles were permitted to travel up and down the hills once an approach road from the valley was built over the terraces. The hotels were demolished and the road was replaced with artificial ponds when the site was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. On site, there are some spectacular Roman ruins as well as a museum. The Turkish name alludes to the shining snow-white limestone formed by calcite-rich springs over millennia. Mineral-rich streams congregate and fall down the mineral terraces into pools below as they drip softly down the slope. The structures are said to be hardened cotton, the area's main crop, that giants hung out to dry. Only a few historical details about the city's origins are available. Number 16. Puerto Ventura Popcorn Beach Popcorn Beach is a well-known beach on Fuerteventura. Many tourists visit this stunning natural spot, which is one of the Canary Islands' most fascinating new secrets. Popcorn Beach, or Playa del Bajo de la Bura, as it is officially known, is one of Fuerteventura's most intriguing beaches. This beach is unlike any other, since it is coated in popcorn instead of rocks, pebbles, or sand. Actually, not really, but the microscopic white algal fossil fossils that blanket most of the shore really do resemble fluffy popcorn. Popcorn Beach is a must-see destination. The beach's spectacular scenery, beautiful waves, and tranquil settings are ideal for relaxing and taking hundreds of photographs. It is no longer as isolated as it once was, since it has gone viral on social media, but its core has not changed. Rotoliths are a type of sea algae that are originally red in color but eventually turn white. They are pushed ashore by the waves which give them their distinctive form. Other beaches have this natural phenomena, but Popcorn Beach and Fuerteventura is one of the most amazing. Does it have popcorn flavor? Well, no. Number 15. The Black Forest the Black Forest receives its name from its evergreen canopy, which is a deep, black, and delectable as its famed Cherry Gatto. It seems to have been made especially for a children's bedtime story, with deep carved valleys, lush trees, luscious meadows, robust wooden farmhouses, and wispy waterfalls. You half expect to run across a wicked witch or huntsman when wandering the many miles of woodland trails, and you could regret not bringing those breadcrumbs to retrace your steps. The Black Forest, which stretches 160 kilometers from top to bottom and peaks at 1,493 meters, is a ridiculously beautiful landscape of hills, lakes, and forest. It stretches from the Baden-Baden to the Swiss border and from the Rhine to the shores of Lake Constance. Slow travel is ideal for this part of the country, whether on foot, by bicycle, or behind the wheel of a car on one of the numerous curvy roads with breathtaking vistas. Thousands of people visit the Black Forest region in southwest Germany each year. It may be on a tour bus with stops to see the world's largest cuckoo clock or have a slice of the original Black Forest Gatto. Alternatively, tourists might be enticed by the outdoor activities available, such as hiking the Black Forest's many routes or skiing and snowshoeing during the winter months. 
Number 14. Tunnel of Love Located near Kleven, Ukraine, the Tunnel of Love is a section of an industrial railway that connects Kleven and Orziv. It's a 3-5 to five kilometer long railway with green arches and closing it. It is well known for being a favorite romantic strolling place. The line goes from the Koval Rivna Line's Kleven Station to Orziv's northern section, which is also served by a mainline station. The total route is around 6.6 .6 kilometers long with about 4.9 kilometers of it covered in woods, while the tunnel itself is anywhere between 3 and 4.9 kilometers long. depending on how people measure it. Orzeev was founded around the turn of the 16th century and classified as an urban-type town in 1959. As part of a process of Russification, the area was formally designated Rovno Oblast in Russian prior to 1992. Rivnen Shashina was afterwards renamed after its Ukrainian name. The Rivna nuclear power plant is located in the Oblast near the city of Varash. If you're searching for something a little less green and tunnely, although maybe things there will be glowing green. Number 13. Tianzi Mountain the tower-like summits of Tianzi Mountain rise suddenly from the tree-covered plain below, usually shrouded in mist, creating a unique scene. The Wulin Wan Scenic Area of Zhangjiazha National Forest Park in Hunan Province, China, is home to a 21-square-mile mountainous terrain that is one of the world's most outstanding landforms. It's only natural that James Cameron drew inspiration from Tianzi Mountain for the alien world Pandora and Avatar. Tianzi Mountain is the consequence of sedimentary rock erosion. Over millions of years, water and wind have etched out its ancient sandstone peaks, which date back 300 million years. What's left are crumbling, narrow constructions that seem more like skyscrapers than cityscapes. Erosion has also resulted in the formation of distinct strata with varying coloration and characteristics that have evolved over time as a result of exposure to the elements. Meanwhile, the rest of Zhang Zhaja National Forest Park is dotted with younger and less degraded mountains, adding to the park's distinctive range of mountain shapes. Whatever we name it and whatever its roots are, the Tianzi Mountain is one of the most breathtakingly beautiful places on Earth. Number 12. The Enchanted River in Mindanao, Philippines, the Hinatuan Enchanted River is a beautiful saltwater river that runs into the Pacific Ocean. Even though it's just around 80 feet deep and hardly long enough to be labeled a river, the flow attracts tourists from all over the world who want to see the magnificent waters that locals have long regarded magical. The name Enchanted River was inspired by a poem by Maresto Farallan. In truth, no one knows where the saltwater comes from, however, the most popular belief is that it comes from an underground cave system that spits the river out, clear of any sediment or silt that would normally obscure such a stream. Whatever the case may be, the clear waters are a unique natural wonder. The river is the subject of several folk tales in the area. One of them claims that fairies infused the river with stunning sapphire and jade colors. Another tale claims that the river is home to an elusive fish that can't be caught. For the sake of preservation and upkeep, the local authorities banned swimming in the main pool in 2017. They also defined a swimming area around 33 feet away from the pool. Number 11. Sagano Bamboo Forest the Sagano Bamboo Forest is located in the Arashiyama area of Kyoto, Japan, near the Tenriji Temple. The weather in the region is changeable, with a chilly temperature and intense sunlight. Summers in this region are brief, hot, and mainly overcast. Winters are bitterly cold, windy, and overcast. It's also rainy all year. The towering bamboo forest, only 30 minutes or so from Kyoto city center, is an almost striking contrast to the urban that surrounds it. The canopy of towering bamboo stalks reaches dozens of feet into the sky, creating a dense maze of wooded walkways. 
The wood bends and creaks, the leaves rustle, and the trunks bang together as if the wind travels through the densely packed plants, creating a sound like virtually nothing other. That is, when the throngs of chatting tourists aren't obliterating it, the contemplative natural sound is so exquisite that Japan's Ministry of the Environment named it one of the country's 100 soundscapes of Japan, a campaign to encourage residents to get out and enjoy the country's acoustic delights. Number 10. Salar de Uyuni Bolivia's Salar de Uyuni is regarded as one of South America's, if not the world's, most severe and extraordinary landscapes. The world's biggest salt flat stretching over 4,050 square miles over the Altiplano was left behind by prehistoric lakes that drained long ago. A thick layer of salt stretches all the way to the horizon with quilted, polygonal patterns of salt emerging from the ground. When adjacent lakes overflow during certain times of the year, a thin coating of water transforms the flat into a magnificent mirror of the sky. This stunning and alien landscape is a valuable lithium mining site, the ingredient that powers computers, smartphones, and electric automobiles. The environment is home to the world's first salt hotel and occupied by road-tripping visitors, in addition to local employees who gather these minerals. Salar de Uyuni's raw beauty and desolation may be either a fantastic experience or a logistical nightmare, and there are two different seasons in the Salar de Uyuni. Visitors come to see the Salar's spectacular mirror effect during the rainy season. Number 9. Moraine Lake the image of this turquoise lake in the Valley of the Ten Peaks has appeared on innumerable postcards and on the reverse of Canadian $20 banknotes. Moraine Lake is one of Canada's most photographed locations. The Blue Lake and ten surrounding mountains are seen from the $20 view. The landscape was formerly shown on the back of Canadian $20 bills and the moniker State. The majority of visitors spend many hours taking in the sights and taking photographs. The picture is postcard perfect with steep snow-capped hills and crystal clear water bordered by larch trees. Around the lake there are hiking routes and boats for rent. Because the route is obstructed by snow in the winter, the lake is only accessible from June to September. The lake is roughly an hour's drive west from Banff and 8.7 miles from Lake Louise. It's a short hike up a steep slope from the parking lot to a viewing platform with the greatest view, about 980 feet. The minerals in the water that fall down from the surrounding mountain give the Glacier Lake its stunning blue hue. The third highest peak in the Canadian Rockies is found in the Valley of Ten Peaks. Mount Temple rises to a height of 11,500 feet. Take it all in from the vantage point of the observation platform. During the day when the sun is directly overhead, the lake shines brightest. This is also when the lake is busiest and parking might be difficult to get by. Come early in the morning and remain to witness the lake's changing hues. The water's surface reflects the ten peaks. The lake is surrounded by kilometers of hiking routes. Hiking might be dangerous due to the presence of bears in the region. Before you go, call Parks Canada for a safety update and always hike in groups of at least four people. Because remember, to a bear you are basically a walking hot dog. Number 8. The Blue City of Chef Shawin. Chef Shawin is a Moroccan city in the northwest of the country. It is the capital of the same named province and is known for its blue colored architecture. Chef Shawin is located between Tangier and Tetouan, just inland. It was created as a military outpost just before the Spanish Reconquista of Granada, and its population swiftly increased as Muslims and Jews fled Spain. The economy is built on a traditional agro-pastoral system with olive and fig groves, several water mills for grain and olive processing, a handicrafts industry centered on leather, iron, textiles, and woodwork, and summer-dominated tourism. Chef Shawin is currently renowned as Morocco's The Big Pearl thanks to its characteristic blue and white painted buildings. Ali Ibn Rashid Al-Alim, a descendant of Abd al-Salam Ibn Mashish Al-Alami, 
and Idris I constructed the city in 1471 as a tiny kasbah to protect against Portuguese incursions of northern Morocco. Many Moriscos, Spanish, and Portuguese Jews, and Comaras from the area moved here during and after the reconquista of Spain. In terms of biological richness, the province of Chefchaouen is regarded one of the richest. It is a Mediterranean biodiversity hotspot, a zone with an unusually high concentration of endemic and vulnerable species, and is experiencing rapid forest degradation as a result of anthropogenic pressures worsened by climate change. Number 7. El Garve Cave the Benaguil Caves, in particular, stand out among the dozens of grottos that dot Portugal's southern coast. This sea cave, like any other in the Algarve, was built by the pounding Atlantic waves. The Benaguil Cave, unlike other grottos, is lighted by a natural sky. Rainwater has driven the weaker limestone areas of the cliff to crumble and fall, causing erosion not just at the bottom of the cliff, but also at the top. The the eye, a wonderfully shaped skylight allows natural light to flood the chamber. Despite the fact that the eye has been covered over, visitors may still glimpse the inside of the cave from atop the rock. The Benaguil Cave's vast, sandy beach is another characteristic that sets it apart from other grottos in the area. The fact that this beach can only be reached by boats adds to its attractiveness. Visitors will find a lot of tour firms providing such trips around the nearby beaches, the most convenient way to see the Benaguil Cave is via boat. Hundreds of boat trips will visit and exit this spectacular grotto every day during high season. Due to the high volume of traffic, passengers are only allowed to enter the cave and view its beauty from the boat. Swimming is dangerous due to high boat traffic and large waves. Falling debris from disintegrating cliffs can pose a threat to swimmers too. Number 6. The Petrified Waterfall of Oaxaca Imagine swimming in a natural spring-fed infinity pool on the edge of a cliff with unending views of the surrounding mountains. A stunning petrified waterfall pours into the valley below to your right, looking to be stuck in time. This is a beautiful sight you can find in Oaxaca's Hierva El Agua. You can visit Hierva El Agua on your own or on a tour. Both have benefits, but there is a little-known secret that allows you to enjoy this stunning location without the throng. Thousands of years went into creating the petrified waterfalls at Hierve El Agua. In the same manner as stalactites grow in caves, they originated as a result of mineral-rich spring water trickling down the rock face from above. Hierve El Agua is one of the world's only two petrified waterfalls. Pamukale, Cotton Castle in Turkey is the other, which we showed you earlier in the video. Pamukale, on the other hand, is a hot spring with thermal waters, unlike Hierve El Agua. Agua. The temperature of the water at Hierve El Agua varies between 72 and 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. Blood Falls if the knowledge of Antarctica being a region utterly unsuited to human existence due to extremely frigid temperatures wasn't horrifying enough, there's also a waterfall that looks like something out of a horror movie. The majority of the water in Antarctica is frozen solid, including this waterfall. Scientists were studying Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys in 1911 when they came upon this bizarre blood-red ice waterfall. They initially assumed it was due to algae, but subsequent research revealed that the red color is due to an ancient colony of bacteria. A lake was buried beneath the Taylor Glacier two million years ago, cut off from all light and oxygen, implying that these bacteria had evolved independently from the rest of nature during that period. They're a perfectly preserved time capsule from two million years ago, revealing what life was like back then. It has the color of blood because of the high iron and salt concentration in the water Water, and at what is now known as the Blood Falls, a small crack in the glacier enables the water to pour out. One thing this demonstrates is that life can thrive in extremely hostile environments, bolstering the case that life exists on many other worlds, even if they are a bit frigid. Let's only hope those microorganisms don't start thinking about migrating to a warmer climate. Number 4. 
the underwater city of Xichang. An old city founded around 1,300 years ago is currently submerged at a depth of 26 to 40 meters. In 1959, the city and valley were purposefully flooded to build an artificial lake and hydroelectric power facility. It might now be a one-of-a-kind diving paradise. Surprisingly, the city has not degraded significantly, and the houses, walls, and even woodwork features have all survived. A film team has been hired to document the old city, the archaeologists are astounded by how well Shi Cheng has survived. However, there are no tourist diving facilities, but the location will hopefully be available to the public in the future. The artificial Qiandao Lake, commonly known as Thousand Island Lake, is a popular tourist destination and leisure area in the province. The hilly environment is stunning and well worth seeing. On government directives, Shi Cheng was purposefully flooded to make room for a hydropower project. The initiative resulted in the relocation of around 300,000 people. By lineage and culture, the previous citizens were linked to the Lion City. Shi Cheng was formerly thought to be the most important Chinese city still standing. Being 131 feet underwater preserved much of the city's houses, temples, and paved roads. It was so shielded from the effects of the wind, rain, and sun, in contrast to to the conventional four, the city has five entrance gates. The Ming and Qing dynasties are responsible for the stone architecture. The city walls of Xicheng originate from the 16th century, and there are 265 archways with preserved masonry dating from 1777. Number 3. Shimmering Shores of Hadu do you know that on Mudu Island, also known as Vadhu Island, in the Maldives, there is a beach that shines at night? That's right, you heard that correct. This glow-in-the-dark effect is caused by a natural phenomenon known as bioluminescence, in which light is released or created by a living thing. Remember the glowworms from earlier? It's the same thing, but this time, it's a beach and not a cave. The Sea of Stars is a stunning phenomena that happens in the Maldives reefs during late summer and is created by bioluminescent photoplankton called Lingulodinium polydrum. This plankton is abundant in the water there, and the movement of the waves causes it to shine, creating an extraordinary shimmering effect that makes the sea look like it's full of stars. The most well-known place for observing plankton is Vadu Island in the Ra Atoll, however it can occur on any of the the islands depending on circumstances. Number 2. Fly Geyser the Fly Geyser lies on Fly Ranch, a 3,800-acre plot of property bought by the Burning Man Project in northern Nevada in 2016. It's a spectacular site about two hours north of Reno on the outskirts of the Nevada Black Rock Desert. The first geyser on the site began to emerge in 1916 when villagers built a well for agricultural water. When it was determined that the water within the well was excessively hot, it was promptly abandoned, and the first geyser was born. Similarly, the major geyser was unintentionally formed in 1964 when a geothermal power firm constructed a test well at the location. The well was apparently left uncapped or inadequately plugged, according to later media reports. In either scenario, searing hot water erupted from the well bore, forming calcium carbonate deposits that grew several inches each year. After a few decades, the deposits have grown into three huge mounds rising from a field of thick reeds and grasses. The sediments have grown to about six feet in height and are a multicolored green and red. The geyser's three travertine cones continue to shoot searing hot water four or five feet into the air. The color of the exterior of the mounds is the product of thermophilic algae, which thrives in damp hot settings, according to scientists acquainted with the geyser. According to Moos says, the insides of the mounds contain quartz, which is expanding faster than any of the other geysers she has observed in her career. Quartz doesn't start growing in geysers for around 10,000 years years, which makes the fly geyser even more amazing. Number 1. Rupgund Lake 
Hundreds of human remains litter a lonely lake nestled in a snowy valley high in the Indian Himalayas. Rupkund Lake is located 5,029 meters above sea level. In Uttarakhand, at the bottom of a steep slope, on Trisol, one of India's highest mountains. The bodies are strewn around and beneath the ice, in the Lake of Bones, discovered by a patrolling British forest warden in 1942. The lake, which is mostly frozen throughout the year, expands and decreases in response to the seasons and weather. After the snow melts, the bones become apparent, sometimes with flesh attached and wonderfully preserved. So far, 600 to 800 people's skeletal remains have been unearthed here. In tourism ads, the local government refers to it as a mysterious lake. For more than half of a century, anthropologists and biologists have studied the bones. but they have been befuddled by a host of issues. Who were these people exactly? When did they die and how did they die? What happened to them when they died? Where did they come from? The bulk of the people who died were tall, above normal height, according to previous bone studies. They were largely middle-aged people, ranging in age from 35 to 40 years old. There were no babies or children in the room. The women were in their 70s and 90s in some cases. They all seemed to be in reasonably good health. Furthermore, the bones were popularly believed to belong to a single group of people who died in a single sad occurrence in the 9th century. According to a five-year study including 28 co-authors from 16 institutions in India, the United States, and Germany, all of these assumptions may be incorrect. The bones of 38 bodies recovered around the lake, including 15 women, were genetically examined and carbon dated, with some going back over 1,200 years. Which of these mysterious places would you most like to visit? Have you ever been to any of them? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!